How a drunk producer gave Gus Dudgeon his first chance on a Zombies record. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. <laughs> Gus Dudgeon, as most of you know, was Elton John's longtime producer, produced almost every Elton John hit in the 70s. We lost him and his wife in a car accident a few years ago. But in this clip, Colin Blundstone fondly looks back at the great Gus Dudgeon. When you mentioned phrasing, and something I've noticed with your vocals, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of phrasing, I'm a big fan of Joni Mitchell, I love people who phrase interesting ways, but she's not there, for instance. When you're getting into that chorus, for a lot of people, that is a hard song to sing right into the chorus. Well, look, it's very rangy. Um, I mean, we were so young. That was our first time in a commercial studio, so we were just letting it happen, really. I had been through it a lot with Rod, but not in the way we do now. You know, we, we really examine songs now. So I think we were just, there was so much energy in, in the studio that night, and I just sort of let them have it when I was recording it, really. And also they've, um, they've compressed the vocal a lot so that you can hear all the breaths. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they use that as a... As a uh, another hook in the performance, really. Uh, it probably wouldn't have sounded quite like that if you just heard the vocal as I sang it, but they purposely compressed it and brought all those voices out, uh, brought all those breaths out. But, you know, one of the interesting things about that session, it was our first time in a commercial studio, and it was in the Decker Studios in West Hampstead in London. It's quite near Abbey Road. We arrived in those days, it was quite fashionable to to record in the evenings and perhaps on through the night. And no doubt some people went right through the night, but we never did. But we started at seven. And when we got there, the engineer who was recording us, he was a very good engineer and recorded many hits. Unfortunately, because we were starting late, he'd been able to go to a wedding all day. And he soon became apparent that he was very, very drunk. <laughs> but also he was very aggressive. And it just got worse and worse. I, I, I can honestly say that after about 20 minutes in the studio, so by 20 past 7 from 7 o'clock, I knew the music business was not for me because this guy was very loud and very aggressive. And then we just had a bit of luck and he passed out cold on the floor and we had to carry him out up three flights of stairs. We put him in a London black taxi and waved goodbye to him. I never, ever saw him again. And his assistant engineer took over and his assistant engineer was called Gus Dudgeon, and he went on to be one of the most famous producers in the world, but that was his first session ever, the She's Not There session with the Zombies. And he went on to produce David Bowie, of course, uh, many of Elton John's albums, the biggest Elton John. Yeah, albums all the 70s, ever. all the 70s. Yeah, yeah, Kiki D, many, many hits. But that was the first, his first session as a recording engineer, the Zombies, as... Spring of 1964, she's not there. No one mentions the British invasion unless they mention the zombies as well as the Beatles, who stuck around till 70. The Stones are still here. The Kinks went on. Dave Clark 5 lasted till 1970, and the Animals till 69, though there were reunions, especially with uh, the Animals. But you mentioned that, yeah, in some ways it was known that a band, you know, take away the Stones and the Beatles, would not last that long so when the band broke up, was there a part of you that said, yeah, well, that's the way things go? I mean... I think there was, really. I, I think when the band finished, I, I, did, I thought that was the end of the music business for me. Um, but of course, a year later, it was roughly a year later, time of the season went on to be a huge hit around the world. And, uh, no one was expecting that. The record company wasn't expecting it, and neither were we. Um, and some of these things just happened. And when that was a hit, suddenly the phone was red hot with offers for me to get back into the music business. And slowly but surely I did. I, I wasn't even sure that after that break I wanted to get back into the music business, but I just tried a little bit of recording on different projects. And then eventually I teamed up to, again with uh, Rod Argent and Chris White, and they produced my first solo album. Mm -hmm. And there was a big hit from that in the UK and in some countries in Europe. Unfortunately, the solo projects that I've done have never been in the charts in America. It's never happened. So it's, it's quite difficult for me to explain that, you know, I've sung on other hits, but they just weren't hits in North America. But that's when I think my solo career really began, working with Rod Arden and Chris White on my first solo album for CBS, or I think it was Epic, actually, which was part of CBS. And that album was called One Year. 
More from Colin Bluntstone and Rod Argent coming up next week. What a duo. It took a long time to get this interview, mainly because they're so freaking busy. And the first time I asked for the interview, they were being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so everyone wanted to talk to them. And on some of these clips, Shem Von Trek helped me uh, with the Rod Argent part of it because Shem's such a big fan. And of course, he was the total bassist, played with Christopher Cross, Don Felder, Kenny Loggins. I mean, you know, there's interviews with Shem on this channel. Make sure you continue buying our t-shirts. Thank you if you haven't. If you have bought a t-shirt, please send us a picture of you wearing the t-shirt and send it to us on our Facebook group. It's just called Rock History Music, Rock History Book. And we'll put it on the, the entrail of our interviews, of our, of our videos. Make sure you comment on our videos. We read all the comments. Subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Take care. Mm -hmm.